KX Now. Good evening, I'm Lauren Culver. And I'm Nicholas Qualick. Thank you for watching KX News. North Dakota's 67th legislative session is coming to a close this week. Over the course of the last 76 days, lawmakers debated, voted, and debated again over hundreds of bills, whittling down the hundreds that will make it into the Century Code. Maddie Beer Temple has a recap on some of the most closely watched bills this session as we lead local. In some ways, the 67th legislative session was unlike any other, starting off with a court case over a district seat, dealing with pandemic protocols, and eventually the expulsion of a lawmaker. Despite the unique circumstances, though, hundreds of bills became law. Here are some of them. Good people, when they're educated and informed, will make good decisions. The governor and state health officer can no longer enact a mask mandate. That bill passed both chambers and had the votes to overcome the governor's veto. And you might see some better roads and bridges soon. A $680 million bipartisan bonding bill aims to improve infrastructure using legacy fund dollars. Will be one of probably three bills that will be coming through the legislature that's going to put legacy money out into the state of North Dakota. Soon, schools will have immunity from lawsuits for posting the Ten Commandments in the classroom. It is a historical document, and I think I certainly would hope that our teachers would be able to teach that as much as they teach Darwinism or other things that we teach in schools. Plus, a slew of gun-related bills passed, one of which makes North Dakota a stand-your-ground state, eliminating the duty to retreat before using deadly force in some circumstances. It's not saying you can shoot anybody you want. It's saying if you find yourself at risk of death or serious bodily harm or um, a felony involving violence, that you don't have to run away. But lots of bills didn't pass. Do you really think any person would change their gender and subject themselves to abuse just to win a track event? One that came close would have restricted transgender students' participation in public school sports. The governor vetoed it and the legislature almost overrode it, but was four votes shy in the Senate. And advocates of legalizing marijuana were also dealt a blow with a bill that made it through the House but was snuffed out in the Senate. The idea is to, uh, to, you know, say that this is a legal substance, but not that this is an unregulated legal substance. The 47 senators and 94 representatives meet here in Bismarck every two years. Reporting at the Capitol for KX News, I'm Maddie Beer Temple. There were also several COVID-related bills that passed, including one to ban the use of vaccine passports in the state. The governor has yet to sign that. After recent legislation, carrying small amounts